Hello, everyone. Good evening. Hello, hello. Good evening. Hello. Hey, can you hear me? Can you hear me, guys? Hello. Si me escuchan todos, I need I need someone to confirm, please. Yes. Me? Hello. Yes. Don't know. Okay. All right. At least I got a confirmation. All right. So just let me double check here. Okay, guys. Welcome once again to another class. Something new to learn today. Uh, thank you so much for the ones that are here on time. Por los que se conectan a tiempo. So thank you very much for that. So um, once again, guys, something new to learn today. Algo nuevo para aprender ahora, okay? So I hope every one of you is ready for today. As usual, guys, I'm going to ask you questions regarding to the last topic or regarding to the previous topic, okay? Eh, pregunta siempre se la voy a hacer del tema anterior. Every single day when we start class, I will ask you questions about the previous class, okay? So yesterday we saw the alphabet and we also try or practice the spelling, okay? So um, let me see. I would like to have someone, a volunteer or something that would like to help me um, spelling something. Nobody? Nobody wants to participate today? Well, so I will ask someone then. Uh, let me see, Juan Peñate, are you there? Yes. How do you spell Juan? Juan, J, U, a N. Correct. Thank you very much. Didana. Hey, Didana. Hello. Okay. Hola. Ahora sí me escucha. Yes. Today is bueno, clear. So how... Yo me quedé con, con ganas de deletrear mi, mi nombre, lo saqué y mi sonido no funcionó, pero ahora sí. ¿verdad? Ok. Ahora sí. Let's bueno. go, Didana. Sin miedo al éxito. Uh, D. Mm -hmm. J. D. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A N A. Okay, the only problem, el único problema que escuché ahí es que me dijiste es J and no veo ninguna letra J en tu nombre. Oh, no, 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 es la I, ¿verdad? Es, es, vamos a ver. So that's the letter. La I, I. ¿cómo se pronuncia la, la I entonces? You say I. 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 Right. Okay, but thank you very much, Didana. That was that was mm -hmm. now Julio. How do you spell a guillon? A J U I L L O N. Okay, the only situation that we have there is that you said J, and I cannot see any J in a guillon. We have the letter G. Oh. Okay. That was the only situation there. Now, um, well, I think that there is no questions regarding to the alphabet. I think that the alphabet is something really easy, not that difficult. Okay. So today, guys, in today's class, we are going to learn how to make questions with the verb be. ¿Se recuerdan the verb be? Do you remember the verb be? What are the three forms of the verb be? I, is, are. I, is, are. Mm. Uh, M. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is, are. M, is, are. That's different. Okay, that's correct. Now, if I have the personal pronoun we, if I have the personal pronoun we, 
what is the form of the verb be that I use with the personal pronoun we? Are. Are, correct. Let me see, Liliana Olmedo. Hello. Hello. Hello, Liliana. Soy Patricia Campos, pero estoy en la compu de mi hija. Oh, okay. All right, so I just solo me guío por, por el nombre, but it's okay. Okay, Patricia. Okay, Patricia. So um, let me see. How is, or what is the form that we use, the form of the verb be that we use with the personal pronoun they? Are. Are. Correct. Thank you very much. Jancy Andrea, are you there? Chris, really? Okay. Jancy, Jancy Andrea. Hello. Hey there. Jancy, I don't know if you're speaking. I cannot listen to you. Nothing. Hola. Yes, okay, yes, I listen to you now. Okay, Jancy, uh, ¿cómo digo ella y con qué forma del verbo to be lo utilizo? Hair. Hair. Okay, ¿están, están seguros que ellas digo hair? No. Is. ¿Cómo digo ella? How do I say ella? Sí. Dijo el pronombre posesivo. Exactly. Lo que tú dijiste, Jancy, es lo que vimos hace dos días, that, that are possessive adjectives, que es para ella, el, el su de ella. That's different. So in English, ella, we say she. And the, pers the, the form of the verb be that we use is is. Okay, Francisco, I see that you're saying that you were at a job reunion or something like that. Um, well, so Chris, I hope that you resolve the issues that you have with the audio, okay? Well, guys, as I was saying, today we're going to try to learn to how to make questions with the bar B. Today, that's going to be the class about. So just let me go ahead and share the screen with you so you can have an idea of what I'm talking about, okay? So just let me go ahead and click here. All right. Um, well, something else that I want to tell you, algo más que quiero decirles, chicos, es que conforme vayan pasando los días, voy a tratar de hablar más inglés y menos español, okay? Si ya en realidad usted no entiende, pregunte, ¿ok? Vamos a tratar de, de ir agarrando un poquito más, un poquito más y un poquito más. So in that case, you're getting used to, your, your, your mind gets used to the language, ¿ok? So if you have questions, just yeah. let me know. It's okay, Francisco, I understand that, ¿ok? But thank you so much for letting me know. All right, can everyone see the presentation? Can you see it? Can you see it? Yes. Okay, great. Yes. Yes. All right, so as you can see here, for today's class, as it says, we are going to check statements and questions with the verb be, okay? Or the verb to be. So now that you already know how to use the verb to be, we are going to understand or try to learn how to make sentences, affirmative sentences, and negative sentences. Also, questions, okay? Remember, if you do not understand, let me know, and I will be more than happy to explain you once again. So just let me click here. All right, so, this is how we make positive sentences. Positive, as you can see here, positive. So, positive sentences. Oraciones positivas using the verb be. For example, I am a good student. 
We are good students. You are a very intelligent person. They are very intelligent people. So in esto, guys, it's important. Es importante que sepamos que aquí va a cambiar un poquito. For example, in this case, I'm going to say we are good students. Here, it also is also going to change. They are very intelligent. Okay. Si se fijan acá, la misma oración cambia just a little bit. It changes just a little bit. What's the change that we have here? ¿Cuál es el cambio? We only add a letter S. Solo agregamos una letra S. So we say, I am a good student. We are good students. We have to pronounce the letter S. You are a very intelligent person. They are very intelligent people. ¿Por qué cambiamos aquí eh, de personas? Este cuando digo person, me refiero a una persona. One person, una. Cuando yo hablo de más, de una, yo utilizo people. Y porque acá estoy utilizando they, que es singular o plural. Singular o plural. Plural. Plural, okay. So, because it is plural, I have to change. Tengo que cambiarla. Porque yo no puedo decir ellos son muy inteligente persona. No. Yo tengo que decir ellos son unas personas muy inteligentes. Hablando de personas. Porque me refiero, I'm talking about they. Okay. So, that's why. Es por eso que I change it. Por eso que lo cambio. So, el singular es person, el plural es people, ¿sí? Muchas veces, sometimes, o en el lenguaje antiguo, o lenguaje coloquial en inglés, el plural se hacía de esta manera. Yo decía person, una persona, y persons, con S, muchas personas, más de dos. But... Language is evolving. El lenguaje está evolucionando. Y ahora, esto siempre lo pueden ver. Eh, si alguno de ustedes viaja en bus, for example, if you go to work by bus, en el bus, hay buses que vienen de otro país y dicen en la, cosa, en la ventana de emergencia, en the, in the emergency window, todavía se pueden ver est estas cosas que dice persons. Refiriéndose a más de una persona. What does it mean? ¿Qué significa? Todavía es utilizado en books, en libros, en websites, en sitios de internet, o newspapers, hay veces, en periódicos. Pueden encontrar persons para referirse a más de una persona. But, el lenguaje nuevo o las nuevas adaptaciones del idioma nos dicen que el plural de person ya no va a ser persons. Mas sin embargo, nevertheless, you can still see persons. Todavía se puede ver que algunos utilizan persons. But nowadays we use people, ¿ok? Es, we all need to understand. Espero que sí me hayan entendido. I hope you understood. Now, uh, we also have some other examples here. ¿Cómo les dije que le llamamos a estos tres? How do we call to these three personal pronouns? ¿Cómo le llamamos a estos tres nombres personales? Tercera persona. Third person, correct. Thank you very much. So in this case, we call them third person. When, when I say third person, every single time that I say that, you have to remember that I'm talking about he, she, and it. So I have, he is a good student. She is a good student. It is a very intelligent person. ¿Para qué utilizamos este it? Animales. 
for animals. What else? Mm -hmm. Things. Okay. Yeah, normally we're going to use it for animal and things. ¿Qué otra cosa les dije que pasaba con los animales que los tomamos como parte de la familia? What do we do? If we have animals that we consider as part of the family, what do we do in English? We can call he and she. We can use he and she. Why? Because we consider them as part of our family. Okay, great. So um, let me see. Um, los que estaban teniendo problemas lograron resolverlo. Well, I hope so. All right, so let me see. Um, Oswaldo, go ahead, Oswaldo, and make the pronunciation of this part, de toda esta parte acá, of this part right here. Go ahead, please. Oswaldo Stanley. Hello. Chicos, no sé si solo soy yo o hay algunos que no los logro escuchar. I don't know if that's just me. O también ustedes están teniendo the same situation. Are you having the same situation as me? Yo escucho, lo escucho usted, teacher, escucho a Julio. Mm -hmm. Y no he escuchado a nadie más. Yeah, that's weird. Because I, I can see, veo que como que encienden el micrófono, como que tratan de hablar, pero luego ya no escucho absolutamente. Oh, estamos bien, escuchamos bien. All right, so. Um, oh, sí, se sí escucha, there? teacher. Ok, thank you. So, probablemente Oswaldo es quien no está ahí. Ok, Jorge Luis Castaneda. Are you there? Yes. Ok, Jorge, go ahead, please, and make the pronunciation of all those that we have here. I am a good student. Ok. We are good students. Ok. You are... A very intelligent person. Okay. They are mm -hmm. very intelligent people. Correct. Thank you very much. Now, uh, can I have a volunteer or someone would like to participate? Yes. A, what? Hello. No. No one wants to participate? Felix, okay, I see that you raise your hand, Felix. Go ahead, please, and try to do the same thing. I am a good student. Good, we, we say are, good. We are, we are good students. Mm -hmm. You are a very intelligent. They are person. No. Oh, pardon, please. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, they are very intelligent. People. Okay, intelligent people. Thank you very much. Now, Julio, please go ahead and make this part here. He is a good student. Mm -hmm. She is a very intelligent person. Okay. Thank you. Let's see. Uh, Chris, are you there? Well, he's probably not there today. I don't know what's going on with you guys today. All right, so let me have Rebecca de Benavides. Are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay, Rebecca, go ahead, please, and do the same thing. He's a good student. Okay. She's a very intelligent person. Okay, thank you very much. Now we're going to move on um, to the next part. Remember, this is for positive sentences, para oraciones positivas, okay? Positive sentences. 
Now, let's move on to the contractions. Necesito que presten atención a la pronunciación, pronunciation of the contractions que utilizamos entre el pronombre y el verbo to be, ¿ok? So, la forma simple de decirla o más fácil es I am. I am. That's normal. So, let me just erase what I have here. Just give me a moment. Uh, something here. Okay. This here. All right. Okay. So, listen. Listen. Voy a repetir los, la forma normal primero y luego empezamos con contraction. So, I need you to pay attention, please. I am. Who are. He is. She is. It is. We are, you are, they are. Now, let's go with the contractions. Vamos con las contracciones. I'm, your, he is, is, it's, where, where, or, there, there. Okay, now listen again. I will repeat it again. Lo repito de nuevo. I'm your, his, she's, it's, where, you're, there. Okay, let me see. Uh, Patricia, can you please, Patricia, go ahead and make the pronunciation? Vamos a empezar uh, de línea en línea, okay? I need you to make. First of all, the pronunciation normal and then the contraction. Let's go. Okay. okay. I am. I'm. Okay. You are. You're. Mm -hmm. He is. His. Okay. She is. She's. Okay. It is. It's. Okay. We are. Where. Th that one we say weird. We're. Mm -hmm. um, you are your. Mm -hmm. They are your. Their. Okay, thank you very much. Can someone, uh, who, uh, can I have a volunteer or someone would like to participate? Jancy. Yes. Okay, Jancy, go ahead, please. Okay. I am. Am. Mm -hmm. You are you. Okay. He is his. She is she's. Mm -hmm. It is it. Okay. We are we're. Mm -hmm. You are your. Mm -hmm. They are there. Okay, thank you. Um, I just want to clarify something. Solo quiero eh, enfatizar algo. This one, esta de acá, podemos decirla I'm, I'm or am. Mm. Cualquiera de los dos. I'm or am. Este de acá, mm. your. Decimos your, 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 okay? No es your, okay? And lo demás pretty much uh, correct. Oswaldo, I see that you raise your hand. Would you like to participate? Do, or do you have a question? Hola, teacher. Yes. ¿Me escucha? Yes, now I can listen to you. Ah, okay. Uh, sí, sí, sí. Sería, I am, mm -hmm. am. Okay. You are, your. Okay, this he, one, I, I, I just, just a moment. This one, no, it's your, it's your, your. Your, your. Mm -hmm. He's, he's. Okay. She's, she's. Okay. It, it is, it's. Okay. We are, we're. Mm -hmm. You are, your. Mm -hmm. They are, they're. Okay, thank you very much, Oswaldo. 
Now, uh, as you can see, guys, those contractions, we can use them in English. That's the contraction of a personal pronoun plus the verb be. Remember that in English, or las personas nativas del idioma prefieren utilizar contractions, see? ¿sí? Muchas contractions, a lot of contractions. But it does not mean, no significa que si yo digo I am, vaya a estar malo, no. If I say I am or I'm, las dos van a estar correctas, ¿sí? You can say or you can use the one that you feel comfortable with, con la que usted se sienta más tranquilo o familiarizado de utilizar, you can use either or. Because at the end of the day, al final, solo queremos que usted hable bien el idioma. So you can use contraction or you can say it normally, okay? So that's not a problem. Any question? Preguntas hasta el momento? Questions so far? No? No. no. Perfect. So now, we're... No. Move on to the negative. Nos vamos a mover a las oraciones negativas. Negative sentences. ¿Qué es lo que hacemos? Very easy. Luego del verbo to be, vamos a agregar la palabra not. We are going to add the word not. Y esa palabrita automáticamente me lo pone negativo. Si yo decía, I am a good student. Yo soy un buen estudiante. Cuando yo digo, I am not a good student, estoy diciendo, yo no soy un buen estudiante. I am not. O puedo usar la abreviación y puedo decir, I'm not a good student. ¿Ok? Si ¿Sí estamos entendiendo, do we understand? Yes. Yes. Okay, perfect. So if there's if there's no questions, si no hay preguntas, nos vamos a mover. Because those are just examples. Now, aquí tenemos contracciones negativas. So I say, I am not. O puedo decir, I'm not. Esta, esta forma del I... El pronombre I, la forma del verbo to be, la única contracción que tiene es esta. Si se fijan, aquí tenemos un asterisco porque el verbo to be más la palabra not, no la podemos unir. No es posible. Fonéticamente no puedo decir amt. Sonaría algo como amt. Eso no existe. So, entonces, solo para el pronombre I... Existe una sola forma de contractar lo negativo. Y ahí para todos los demás tengo dos formas. ¿Ok? So, I will say that and you pay attention to the pronunciation and then I will ask you to pronunciate. ¿Ok? So, we have you are not. You're not. You aren't. He is not. He's not. He isn't. She is not. She's not. She isn't. It is not. It's not. It isn't. We are not. We're not. We aren't. You are not. You're not. You aren't. They are not. They're not. They aren't. Okay. Clear? Estamos claros so far? Hasta el momento? So far, so good? Todo bien hasta el momento? Sí. Yes. 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 Ok. Uh, cada vez que les diga so far, so good, significa todo bien hasta el momento. Ok. Vamos a irnos aprendiendo frasecitas de ahora en adelante. Cuando usted escuche so far, so good, estoy diciendo todo bien hasta el momento. Ok. So, let me see. Um, Teacher, yes. Uh, please repeat form two, subject ma, more contraction. Um, form two. Mm -hmm. It, uh, he, she, it. Okay, we please. say he isn't, she isn't, it isn't. Okay. En Thank este, you. 
En estas de acá, lo más importante es que se le escuche el sonido de la T. De T sound. Aren't, isn't, isn't, aren't, aren't, aren't. Okay? That's the most important part. Okay. All right. So, can I have a volunteer? ¿Puedo tener voluntarios? If you want yes. To say your name, please. What's, what's your name? Hello, what is your name? Elena. Elena, okay, Elena, please go ahead and make the pronunciation of I and you. Luego vamos con Felix. Okay. I. Okay. Mm -hmm. Elena, yes. I'm not. Mm -hmm. I'm not. Mm -hmm. uh, I am not. Okay. Now let's move. Let's move on to you. You are. You? Mm -hmm. Are not. Okay. You're not. Okay. You aren't. Okay. That was good. Thank you very much. Now we'll go with Felix. And oh, sorry. Uh, Jessica, do you have a question or you want to participate? Jessica Hernandez, do you want to participate or do you have a question? Yes. Y yes, yes what? Yes, the question or yes, the participation? Yes, participation. Okay, so vamos a ir con Felix and then we'll go with you, okay? So yes. Felix, I need you to do he and she, please. Felix. Okay. He is not He's mm -hmm. not. He is. Okay. She is not. Is not. She is. Baje el cuadro, subímelo. Thank you very much. Now, Jessica, let's go with you, Jessica. I need you to help me with it and also with we, please. Hello. 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 Oh, okay, now I listen to you. Okay, let's go with it. It is not. Okay. It's not. Okay. It isn't. Okay, great. We are not. Mm -hmm. We're not. Okay. We aren't. Thank you very much, Jessica. Now, can I have another volunteer? Julio. 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 Okay, Julio, let's go with you and then with they. You are not. Mm -hmm. You're not. You are. Okay. They are not. They are not. They aren't. Okay. Thank you very much. That was a good pronunciation. Now, does any one of you have any question so far? Or is it clear? Is it clear so far? Yeah. Mento todo claro? Yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. Now. Yes. This is, guys, the way we are going to make questions. Esta es la forma en que vamos a crear preguntas. ¿Cómo lo hacemos? How do we do that? Very easy. Ya sabemos con qué formas del verbo to be trabaja cada pronombre. ¿Qué es lo que hacemos? El verbo to be lo pongo al inicio, luego el pronombre y luego un complemento. Y por supuesto, and of course, the question mark. Así le decimos, signo de interrogación. 
question mark. So I have primero verb be, then pronoun, then complement, and at the end, question mark. So, si yo tengo la oración, let me write it down. Uh, let me see, text. I am, let me see, it's not working. I am a good student. Pongamos que tengo esa, esa oración afirmativa, positive. I am a good student. ¿Cómo la paso a pregunta? Fácil. El verbo to be lo pongo al inicio y luego el I. Entonces yo digo, am I? Am I? Para cuando, ahorita que estamos aprendiendo, mm. aceptable si usted dice, am I? Despacito, am I? Am I? Se siente más fácil diciendo, am I? También es posible. Ya cuando hablemos más rápido, se dice, am I? Am I? Mm. Recuérdese, am I or am I? Como usted se sienta mejor, ¿ok? So, fácil. Yo digo, am I a good student? Algo muy importante, chicos, es hacer la entonación de pregunta. ¿Por qué digo esto? Sucede que hay veces hasta en español tenemos problemas. Why? ¿Qué pasa? Hay veces estamos hablando en español y todavía le preguntamos a la persona. ¿Es pregunta o es afirmación? ¿Por qué? Porque ni en español nos entendemos. Why? Because we don't make the intonation. No hacemos la entonación de pregunta. So the other person that is in front of you, la persona que está enfrente de usted, no va a entender si usted está haciendo una pregunta o una afirmación. So, es necesario hacer la entonación. How do I do that? ¿Cómo lo hago? For example, si yo tengo, I am a good student. Es una oración, sentence, positive, positiva. ¿Cómo la voy a hacer? Pregunta, am I a good student? ¿Sí? El, el acento, la entonación. Am I a good student? Or, are you a good student? Are you a good student? Intonation for a question, ¿ok? Now, esto pasa con los pronombres I, you, we, they. Ahora, ¿qué pasa con third person? What happens with the third person? It's going to be the same thing, la misma cosa. I use the verb be at the beginning, then personal pronoun, and then complement, and then question mark at the end. So, yo digo, is he a famous person? Is she a famous person? Siempre entonación is going to be very important. ¿sí? La entonación es muy importante. Ahora, ¿cómo respondo? Puedo responder de forma corta. For example, supongamos, let's suppose, let's suppose that I'm going to ask a question to que le voy a preguntar a Patricia. Let's suppose, Patricia, que yo le pregunto a ella. Uh, let's see. Are you a good student? Eres una buena estudiante. Are you a good student? Yes, I am. Excellent. Okay, that was good. Entonces, si se fijan, yo a ella le pregunté con are you y ella me contestó con I am. ¿Por qué? Porque yo le hago a ella la pregunta, are you? Siempre que alguien le pregunte, are you? Usted va a responder con I am. Diferente es que esté utilizando are you para referirme a ustedes. Ahí es diferente. Ahí yo voy a responder, we are, nosotros. We are. Estamos refiriéndome a nosotros, ¿ok? So, lo que quería decir, what I wanted to say is, yo puedo responder, yes, I am, or yes, we are, yes, they are, yes, you are, ¿sí? Para decir, sí, lo soy, for example. Lo mismo pasa para third person. I said, yes, he is, yes, she is, yes, it is. Para responder negativo, si yo le hubiese preguntado a... Uh, 
de nuevo a Patricia, let's say, y le pregunto de nuevo, are you a good student? Y ella me quiere decir, no, no lo soy. She, she must say, no, I am not. O puedo utilizar la contracción y digo, I'm not. Um, so that's why it's important to know the um, contractions. Es importante saber las contractions. So we can also no, we aren't, or no, are not. No, you aren't, or no, you are not. No, aren't, or no, they are not. Que es lo mismo, okay? So, do we have questions, guys? Alguna pregunta so far? So far, so good? Yeah. Are so good? Yeah. So it means that you're all understanding. Significa que todos han entendido. So, um, okay, so let's move on then. And let's see what else do we have. Here, empezamos. So, if there's no questions, como no hay preguntas, vamos a empezar los ejercicios, the exercises. Please. Necesito que cuando nos movamos a hacer los ejercicios, todos participen. And I'm telling you this in Spanish. Porque la participación, chicos, es tomada en cuenta. Hay algunos que solo están en los grupos como que son fantasmas. Like your ghost. No dicen nada, solo escuchan, no opinan, nothing. The reason why we create groups, la razón para la que creamos grupos es porque todos tienen que participar, ¿ok? Help each other, ayudarse entre ustedes mismos. Now, this is just the first part. No sé si ya le tomaron captura or, or any photo or something. Did you take a screenshot already? Yes. Okay, so let, vamos a movernos a la número dos, number two. This is number two. And please let me know, let me know so I can move on. Háganmelo saber so así puedo moverme a la siguiente. Yes. Yes. Okay, here we have number three. And this one, guys, what we are going to do, en esta lo que quiero que hagan solo es hacer las negativas. That's it. Okay, negatives. Okay, can I move to the next one? Teacher, yes. teacher, yes. por favor, podría poner la primera y la segunda que no logré capturar, por favor. Okay, this is number one. Okay, un moment, please. Okay. Ahora la segunda, por favor. This is number two. Thank you. Okay, now this is number four. Can I move to the next one? Yes. And this is the last one. Esta es la última. <clears throat> Hoy tenemos mucho que trabajar. Okay, so I see that uh, Jorge Luis just said number three. So let me see, number three, this is number three, this one. Okay, I guess that's enough. All right, you're welcome. So I will stop sharing and I will create the groups. I'm going to create the groups and once again, guys, please, I need everyone to participate, everyone. Parece que no los estoy viendo, pero a todos los observo, ¿ok? 
I'm there. I'm just checking what you're doing, okay? After we come back, después que regresemos, le voy a hacer preguntas de los ejercicios al azar. So I need everyone to work on that. Clear. ¿Estamos claros? Yes. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So just let me go ahead and create. Okay. Please go ahead and join your groups. Hello guys, what happened with you? ¿Qué pasa con ustedes? Couldn't you access? Hello, Chris, Oscar, Francisco. Hello. Hello, hello, guys. Hello. Francisco, Oscar, Chris. Oh, okay, yes, I understand, okay. Thank you, Francisco. Cool. So, Oscar, ¿qué pasa con Oscar y Chris? Well, Chris, um, te, eh, te debió haber caído el link para poderte unir al grupo. Sí, la segunda. Entonces es. She is. She is in the car every morning. Mm. Entonces, das está de más. Esto no es, ajá. Esto, ¿verdad? Ajá, she is in the car every morning. Vale, bueno, digamos que ya está, ya está esta. Este, quiero ver. Eh, veamos cómo. Voy a cerrar esto. La segunda sería esta. Uh -huh. Maya, acá dice que tenemos que... Echarlo. Uh -huh. Tenemos que llevarlos. Ajá. Relacionarlos. Esto sería este I am. I am. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You are. You are. He is. She is. She is. is. We, we are, 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 you are, you are, you are, they are, they are, they are, they are, 
No sé si eh, alguien le puede tomar captura así antes de que lo borre, para, por si nos lo pide. Ahí está. Eso está, ah, más, eh, fácil. Ah, Eso está más fácil. Sí, pasamos. Sí, ahora la tercera es la que tiene uh -huh. la, los dibujitos, ¿verdad? Hay a a sí, voy, sí. que creo que hay que hacer como la negativa. Ajá. Eh, solamente que la primera no la, no la veo yo bien porque tenía ahí la marca de, eh, de la que estaba. Dice, eh, dice I am a boy. Entonces hay que hacer la negativa, creo que dijo aquí. Ajá. Ok. Entonces es I no. I no. I am not. I'm not a boy. Porque esa no se puede unir. Ajá. I am not a boy. Ok. Luego, you are a girl, a girl. You are a girl. Están en este día, no sé, algo así. Mi amigo está, yo creo que es on the day, creo que va casi, yo si no me equivoco, entonces. Y... Mi amigo está de vacaciones. Sí, ajá, de destino. Vacaciones. Entonces podríamos ponerle Yes. He is. He is de vacaciones. No sería de ahí, por ellos. Es como ma, mi El amigo. Equipo, ajá, tiene la E. Ah, amigos. my friends. Entonces tendría que ser. Ajá, acabar, exacto. Entonces tendría que ser. Este. Yes, they ellos. Are. They, sería they. Yes, yes. Ajá, yes, they are. Mm -hmm. Sí, ellos están de vacaciones. Sí. Ellos están de vacaciones. Ah, pues esa no la no la tomé. No, no la tomé ah, captura ajá, esa. Porque... Sí. ¿Qué quiero ver? Yo porque creo que solo dele ahí compartir y luego elija. La galería está desde su teléfono. Sí, voy a probar. Ajá. Voy a parar de compartir yo porque así esa no la tomé. Ok. Solo tengo esa y las otras dos. Dele compartir y luego va Ahí, a la galería. Se ve. Oh, exacto. Ah, sí, sí, sí. Sí. Ahorita sí. Sería de, de, de que, ¿Qué sería esta de completar? Quiero ver. En boy. That one is negatives. Negativos. Negativos. Sí, 
Correct. <risa> Negativo. Nos está, no está espiando. Lo estoy eh... observando. <risa> Ella... I am not a boy. I'm not. Sería I'm not. O I am. Y eso sería. We are we happy. Are not, we are we not are happy. We are not happy. We are, uh -huh. we are not happy. No, we aren't happy now. We are, we are not happy. We are not happy. Sí. Oh, we are not. ¿Cómo lo ponemos? Es válido. No, no sé si I se escribe así. No, no. We are not. Okay, we are not. Uh -huh. You are tall. You are um, you're, no. you're, um, you're, um, you aren't tall. Okay. Eh? No, um, eh, Uh -huh. mm -hmm. like sí. you, you are not. You are not. Mm -hmm. No sé si es algo raro, pero creo que sí es. Es que le falta el apóstrofe, pero después. Uh -huh. bueno, tenemos el otro. Me falta uno, sería. <risa> They are... They... Ellos son mi familia. Uh -huh. Ellos son una familia. They are a family. Okay, bueno, Ahí está. They are in a family. Me faltaría el último. Le vamos a tomar captura de este para pasar al otro. Para que nos diga si está bien o está mal. Porque en ese tengo duda. Well, they are. Okay, guys, welcome back to the main session. Um, well, I was checking all the groups, estaba verificando the groups, and well, I'm, I'm very surprised. Uh, la mayoría de ustedes participaron, todos casi participaron el día de hoy. Everyone participated. Un grupo por ahí estaba muy organizado, trabajando bien, poniendo cada cosita en orden. That was very, very good. So I just want to say congratulations. Quiero felicitarlos a todos porque todos han participado al día. So every one of you. So keep on doing that, okay? So thank you very much for that. Gracias a todos los que estuvieron ahí participando. So remember that, uh, I mean, that's part of your, your learning. Es parte de su aprendizaje. But I do appreciate, aprecio que todos hayan estado participando. El grupo que estuvo ahí, creo que ya saben quiénes son. Super organizados. That was excellent. Um, well, okay. So now let's go. Y vamos a ver solamente el primer ejercicio. Just the first exercise. Due to the time, debido al tiempo. So, uh, we're going to select. Vamos a elegir una persona. Let's see. Um, Julio. Hey, Julio. So, Julio, can you tell me what is the mistake on sentence? 
The question number one, what is the mistake? I think it's do. Do, correct, that is a mistake. Thank you very much. Felix, what is the mistake in number two? Uh, is. Uh, yes. Is. The letter S? S. The letter S, correct, the letter S. Now, let's see, um, Jessica. What is the mistake in number three, Jessica Hernandez? Um, do. Do, correct. Thank you very much. Jorge Luis Castaneda, what is the mistake in number four? It's a mistake is on. On. Oh, no, S, S and friends. Friends, okay. Uh -huh. eh, aquí teníamos dos posibilidades. O le quitábamos la S... O cambiábamos el verbo to be y le agregábamos are. Cualquiera de las dos opciones es correcto. So thank you very much. Um, what was your name? I forgot it. Forgot your name. Oh, Jorge Luis. Okay. And the last one. Can I have a volunteer? Voluntario. The last one. Number five. Your teacher. Okay, Didana. What is the mistake in number five? En la segunda palabra tiene la S de más. Eh, ajá, es. Esta S está de más. Sí. Ok. Do you all agree? ¿Todos de acuerdo con lo que Didana dijo? No. No. Why not? ¿Por qué no? I think it's all the word. Doesn't. Yeah. Does. All the word. Does. Correct. Toda la palabra does no está igual. It shouldn't be there. So we say, uh, she is in the car every morning. Okay, guys. Um, so I will stop sharing. Uh, once again, una vez más, por favor, please try to keep working on the platform, okay? He verificado que algunos ya avanzaron bastante. Some others are there, algunos están iniciando, otros van a la mitad, and so on. So please remember, el día de mañana, tomorrow we have calibration. El día de mañana tenemos calibración, okay? We have calibration tomorrow, which means, lo que significa que necesitamos que todos hayan mínimo empezado o casi terminado sección 2. Section number two. Please, I need you to please do that. And remember that tomorrow there's no class. No class tomorrow. Because we have our schedule. Nuestro horario, our schedule is from Monday through Thursday. Okay? So tomorrow, no class. I will see you on Monday. Okay? So have a good weekend. Uh, feliz fin de semana. Uh, take care of yourself, cuídense, and have a good night. See you on Monday. Good night. Okay, good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.